Loyalty? That's a no-no. Blowing 3-1 leads? Well, I guess so. Now you left for us solo? He gonna stun on you. Yo, what up, everybody? I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the man that ruined the NBA. The man that ruined the NBA. Who's his name? Kevin the Bandwagon Durant. Kevin the Bandwagon Durant lost to Golden State in the conference finals. He was up 3-1 against the 73-9 team that choked a 3-1 against Cleveland later in the NBA Finals. But he was up 3-1, and he decides to go to the team that beat him. He decides to go to a 73-9 team with a unanimous MVP on the team. He just decides to go over Oh no, I'm 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 not. I'm just gonna go over to them. They're automatic. Kevin Durant ruins the league because he um it's they're like unbeatable. It's like you gotta have like a four all stars just to compete with Golden State. Back in the day, you didn't need four all stars to compete with Golden State. And this Kyrie situation this wouldn't be talked about if Kevin Durant didn't go to Golden State. Because if Kevin Durant didn't go to Golden State, Cass would have had three championships. They would have won in 15 if Kyrie wasn't injured. They would have won in 15, 16, and 17. If KD didn't go to Golden State, yeah, Golden State wouldn't have a championship. They might have won in 2015, but yeah. Kevin Durant has all these GMs going to find other, um, trying to get superstars. Like, the Rockets had to go get Paul George just to compete with Golden State. You need, like, four All-Stars now, they just to compete with the Golden State Warriors. And, yeah, Kevin Durant ruins the NBA. They're like, like um, Golden State automatically winning championships because they're getting Kyrie, I mean, 